Hey, what's up YouTube and I'm back with another video for this video I'm actually gonna focus on signs. I know a lot of people ask where do I get those signs? How do I make those signs? Uh, there's a lot of different ways I've done it. I've used the Cricut um, And kind of recently what I switched to doing which was a lot easier because dealing with vinyl and Cricut I'm just feeling like I'm just wasting a lot of it. So I actually switched over to just making the signs Separate them into separate sheets of paper printing them out and just taping them together Putting them on and cutting them out uh, saves me a lot of vinyl, saves me a lot of time messing with the Cricut machine. Uh, it's just quicker, faster, and easier and I just save it and I can print out whenever I need it. I'm going to make a couple of these, the ones that I use. I'll put them on the Etsy store and if you like you can get some there. If not, you can create them yourself and just print them out and exactly, just separate the paper. But just make the process easier if you'd like, you can check those out. But you can definitely just make these by yourself on a computer. There's three options that I'm going to show you how you can make these. There's wood. MDF medium density fiberboard and the third option is corrugated plastic That's an option I put in there for a lot of people who maybe you don't have those machines There's a different way you can give those a try and kind of just see how it looks Especially if you're just making it at home for you're having a baby shower or someone or it's for a friend and it's not for Commercial you can get away with making it out of plastic the MDF the medium density fiberboard uh, you can make it out of a uh, half inch quarter inch, but you're gonna have to use a scroll saw to cut I'll show you how we do that if you have a scroll saw it's gonna give a nice clean It's gonna give you a nice clean It's the best way to cut any of these say you have a jigsaw and you, you don't have a scroll saw You don't want to spend the extra money on a scroll saw you can get a jigsaw for $30 at Harbor Freight, but a jigsaw causes a lot of vibrations and it'll snap MDF MDF is just kind of pushed together particle wood and I think like steam together. It's just really dense in there But it'll crack easy it's, if you make a sign out of it. It's fine, but when you're cutting it with all those vibrations from a jigsaw, which is not meant for finer cuts, it can actually snap. I tried it and it didn't work out. This is my, my first one. Uh, scroll saw worked out great. But if you are going to use a jigsaw, you can still do it, but you will have to take your time and actually make it out of plywood because plywood is made out of a couple of different layers of plywood. They're kind of stacked in like multi-directional ways and they're glued together and it kind of gives it that strength. So it kind of fights against when your when your jigsaw is going through and cutting up, it'll fight against it, which works out great. And then there's going to be corrugated plastic, which is this is just the plastic that you see when people have those yard sale signs, any of those uh, like political signs that you see out in people's yards or anything like that. It's just plastic. It's meant to be outside. It came out great. Um, I bought a little sheet for from Home Depot. They're like four dollars. Be careful. Use a razor blade and a exacto knife. Be super careful cutting those because it, it can be a little sharp. Let me show you the first one. I don't know if you can see it. It's the old baby sign. I'll cut it out. I'll show you the video that we're cutting this. And then I kind of just sprayed over gold metallic. Going pretty good. There's a couple of spots on the baby that that kind of didn't sit well. What I would recommend doing is just getting a little slight sanding sponge and kind of giving it a, just a light little sand. It'll kind of create um some so it's it'll kind of make it so it's not so smooth so the paint will actually kind of be able to adhere a lot better. Don't don't go crazy with it. Just a little light sand and dust it all off and then kind of give it a spray. Um, but it, I didn't even do that and it came out pretty good. The second option I'm going to show you is out of MDF. This is half inch MDF. Uh, it's pretty thick. This is something if you're going to do commercial, you definitely want something that's going to be good and rigid. And I used a scroll saw to cut this. As you can see, there's no wood grain or anything. It came out smooth. Uh, I just cut it out, sanded it, and just threw some metallic spray paint on there. It came out clean. The third option is just plywood. I made this one out of plywood. I used some chalk paint, so you, I didn't really have to primer this. But if you look at the back, you'll see the wood grain. So if you're definitely going to use this, you might have to primer it or at least do two coats of paint. Uh, this is actually cut out with the jigsaw and I'll show you how I did that one. All I did is put some wood putty over the corners of any of the edges that chipped and then paint over it and you can't even tell. Came out great.
Hey, what's up? I'm about to try the Oh Baby again, but a different style with wood. I did the first one, uh, MDF, and I did that with a squirrel saw, as you saw earlier, but I want to see if I can try to make it with a jigsaw, because I know a lot of people have this more. Um, so I tried doing the jigsaw with this, but it's too many vibrations, and it um, ended up snapping. Uh, so this is MDF, it kind of breaks a little easier. I want to try plywood. Plywood has a bunch of thin sheets together, kind of glued together, so it's going to be more sturdy against these vibrations, so hopefully it won't snap. So that's what you're going to see. I'm going to try doing it on plywood. Let's see how long it takes me to finish this one. I think it was like around, I don't remember what time I started, so maybe 20 minutes. All right, it's crazy windy and crazy cold. I had, I had finished these last night and um, I, it was at night, so I want to see what they look like. This is the one that was cut with the jigsaw. Definitely if I were do, to do it over again, one thing I would change with the jigsaw versus the scroll saw. The jigsaw, the backside came out a lot smoother, a lot less chips. What happens is the blade has um, tooth like that, so when it goes down and it comes back up, it can rip little pieces a lot easier. Uh, so it's gonna take a little bit more sanding. I'm gonna put some, um, um, some wood filler and that'll fix it all up, but a lot easier thing to do. Instead of um, gluing the whole paper on there, cut out the O, or the old baby or whatever the sign is and then flip it around upside down and then cut it so when you cut it the smooth side will be on the back side but either way if, if you want to do it the way I do it you can uh, just use some wood filler around to fill up the edges that kind of got a little chips and it'll work out great uh, let me do that wood filler really well.